watazaila gana akai yada mutum kisa zai auna kaisa zai gwada kansa zai gwada kaisa the Christian self examination yanda kisa zai gwada kaisa i want to read in a First Samuel chapter 12 Then you can read it in Samuel chapter 12 I'm reading verse 3 Samuel chapter 12 verse 3 Amen First Samuel chapter 12 and verse 3 to 5 Behold, here am I witness against me before the Lord and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Or whose ass have I taken? Or whom have I defrauded? Whom have I oppressed? Of, or of whose hand have I received any bribe to blind my eyes therewith? And I will restore you, restore it you. And they say, Thou hast not defrauded us, nor oppressed us, neither hast thou taken out of any man's hand. And he said unto them, The Lord is a witness against you, and his anointed is witness this day, that ye have not found out in my hand. And they answered, He is a witness. So, Dainan, ku sheda a kaina a gaban ubangiji da gaban wanda ubangiji ya nada sarki da saka kari ko cikin jakinwa na kwace wa kuma na zulunta ko na wulakanta a wurin wa na kafi fa'inci don in zauna gaskiya sai ku sheda cewa ba ku iske ni da lebi ko ni ba jama'a suka ce ubangiji ne sheda this was a prophet Samuel when he was handing over the leadership of Israel that is the political part of lead of Israel leadership to Saul wannan shine anabi samaila lokaci da yake mika da mamuki da sarki so before he finally left the people into the hands of of Saul he decided to clear himself and to clear his, his head before human beings kamar ya mika muke za so ya kamata cewa ya 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 gani cewa bai da ko ba wani laifi kamar ya mika muke a halin shi Though he was not conscious of any evil doing or ill doing yet he came and presented himself before the people that the people should examine him ko tun da shike da eh ka ta wani mugun abuba amma ya mika ta yasa a gaba mutane da nuni to to him is education and here here we want to draw a lesson how a christian can have self examination Anan muna so mu same darasi yanda Kristo ya ola kai shi Every Christian every child of God have a responsibility to always examine his or herself Ko wani dan Allah ko wani Kristo yana da darasi wanda zai ola kai shi a kowane lokaci because self examination helps you and assist you Ko wani lokaci gwada kai yana talake ko kuma yana sa ku ku ci gaba It is not only when you have an a feeling that you have offended somebody that you go to that sometime you say so we are saying that it is good as christian the worst in a while you present to yourself before people to examine you ah kama kista da kale ku ce da ku ce da ni ta kai ka gaba mutane da ne so gada ka and especially when you come to the point as a pastor you are living in a particular location you have been transferred to a particular place now you are living no you don't wait until that but now you are living you still have to present yourself before your members to examine you ko kamar pastor ne wanda an an sa maka wuri ake sannan bai nuna cewa sai a ranar ka dai za ka yi shi ba amma da gale ku ba lokaci har zuwa ranar ma zai ka mi da kai ka da mi a gada ka ko a kowane laifin da ka yi 
I was told of a pastor in this town, and as, as, that, as he was transferred to somewhere, he, he called his elders and told them that I am not going, please help me. And the elder told him, now you are going. When you go, remember this area, this area, this area, this area, this area in your life. If you don't work on it, it will affect you. But people, self-conceit, self will not allow people to humble themselves for others to examine them. Here we saw Samuel bringing himself. He was a prophet. God spoke to him face to face. He expressed God and experienced success in his ministry from childhood up to this point. Yet, he humbled himself before his elders to ask them to examine him if there's anything wrong in his life. Munga Samuela ya para aicho kubengi diye tunya na nankarmi Sano kuma shi anedini ya da ya ina sara su say aichikin eki da ya yi Ama dibda haka ya zo gaba muta anedi miso aona shi su geni ya da eke Self examination is the only thing you need to be able to make heaven at last Awa onu kai chini abende ya isa mute ya isa sa mani ya akabsensa and this self-examination will not be done only once in a year or once in a month should be a regular occurrence in your life. Even sometimes you have to present yourself to your children as a father or mother and tell your children to examine you, to tell you what you are and where they see you. Wani lobo chii kamar ubayako kamar uwa Ya kamata kumika kauna ku agabanyara Demeso duba kwa ya ya kuche ya ya suna gali uko kwa ya ya kuche yi Sometime as a husband Open up and tell your wife to examine my wife You know you are closer than anybody to me You know my inner and everything Please help me so that I can make heaven Let her examine you Wani lobo chii kamar megida Ya kamata kati agabanu matarka because sometimes what we feel we are, we are not that. Sometimes we are actually far away from what we feel we are. That's why self-examination is very necessary and compulsory if we're going to make heaven. As you are spending money, allow your members to know what you're doing so that they can help you. The money does not take you to hell. Well, I'm sorry to say this. Uh, uh, somebody met me yesterday. We have been together around 1983. But yesterday for the first time he told me that the, when we were together in Yola, he took two months examining to discover a particular sin in my mouth. And he spent two months he couldn't get one. And that made him committed. Yet I was not aware. It. I was. I was. Oh, I only came to know that yesterday. But I was never aware that somebody is watching my mouth, watching my language, watching my attitude, watching my interaction for two months. Psalm 26. Psalm 26, I'm reading verse 1 and 2. Psalm 26, verse 1 and 2. Judge me, O Lord, 
for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my ways and my heart. Here the psalmist is saying, Lord, I want you to judge me. I want you to look at me, examine my life, examine my character, examine my behavior, examine my attitude. Surrender himself to the Lord for examination. Ana me zabura ya na pada cewa obengiji ka gwada ne ka gwada ne ka gane kuma ya mika kai fa da obengiji da me a gwada shi we thank God for what God is doing in our day today mun gode obengiji da abin da yake yi a kwana ke mai zo this why yesterday we had the testimony of, of and what had just happened ajiya wanda suna nan sun ji sheda akan abuwa da su faro it takes humility and self sacrifice for somebody like that to come up openly and tell people this what i am eh ya da ke kaskanci ne ba da gunde ba gawa mutun cewa ga abin da nake i want you to know that some of us you have just 10 member 20 member 20 church 3 church and we are too big we don't want to come under set examination by any person I want to remember that member did come out and share that for us so that it please go in at the hour am I going to say we made the time we go and we cast and take more that to it is in and out of those members if you check your combat there may not be more than one or two I all the rest came from somewhere and joined you and yet you not whole enough to allow them to extract you examine you to know who you are a cikin membobin da su zo cikin ecclesiar ka wata kila guda daya ne wanda ka yi masa wazi ya tuba amma sauran su zo daga wurare da ban da bane duk da haka ba ka kaskanta da kai ka domin su gwada ka ba this time as christ is about to come and we know that any time any time he will come it's a time every child of god to always examine his or herself Musa da cewa da ganye zo Kristi zai dawo don haka zara tine ko wanda na baki ko wanda Kristi ya gwada kansa domin zuwan ubangiji mai yace Kristi if you really want to make it idan da if you really want if you really want to make it idan da wanda yana so eh like if you want to see Jesus face to face wanda yana so dan yace ido da ido there is something you must do regularly and always akwai abin da za ka yi kula ne ne is to examine yourself jene ka gwada kansa it means that after the day's work bayan aiki na rana and you go to sleep ka je bacci you must allow your mind to to follow you wherever you went that day ga ka ga zuciyan ka ya bi ka duk inda ka kasance a rana so that to see is there any place you have heard you have said something you have done something that's wrong that you need to apologize before before you sleep ko kwa akwai wani abu a cikin zuciyan ka ko kwa ka aika ta da da yadda da bara da muka ga wa ubangiji cewa na yi nafi that's why we need to really know we need to really examine yourself because the time is near she ya sa ya kamata mu gode kai mu kula yau mai da ne lokaci ya kusanto in job chapter 27 ayuba sura 27 job 27 ayuba 27 verse 6 said job 27 verse 6 Aya shida My righteousness I hold fast and will not let it go My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live My righteousness I hold fast I will not let go adatina na reke ba zan ba shi ya fadi ba that's the reason why you need to really set up your mind to make sure that you will always check up are you in faith or not a dole ne ka zauna ko da lokaci ka yi tunani cewa ko kana cikin ban gaskiya ko a a have you behaved and walked in a way that have invalidated your faith or your or your christianity ga yi da biya a cikin hali wanda ya nuna cewa a ban gaskiya ka ba dai dai ba ne ko kuwa yaya so today i'm calling upon you is a time for everyone of us self examination Yo ina kira bitan ko da ko wanda da 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 cikin mu zai auna kansa. Well I I want to do something here. Na so karanta wuna ba nan. 
because it is a uh, time is very close. I know that you are the most to say. Lord have helped me have some few people in Kaduna. Ah, uh, now the other people are in Kaduna. And last Sunday before I went to church, as I will not be able to come into the area, I sent a test to them. Then I will come to the general table and I said, tell everybody in our church. Now we are going to the area. Tell everybody in our church. Now we are going to the area that every week, everybody should. Approach every week as the last week of the world. Go and the starting the other shida, but you are going to come and start in that journey now. Every week. Go and the starting that approach every week as is the last week of the world. Go and the mark of the shida to get that come and see the mark on that shida now. Dunya now. And then live a day at a time. Don't live a week 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 at a time. Don't Ado ke Allah ya auna ka ta wajen ruhun sa ni sarki ya bincike ka ya bincike ka number 2 na biyo examine yourself in the light of scriptures ta bincike kan ka bisa ga bishara number 3 na uku submit to the leading of god's word submit to the leading of god's word ta bincike kan ka ga bishewa na ai na kalimar Allah We go to number one. Now there, who says, ask God to search you by His Holy Spirit. Now, man, now there, Karoche Allah, we are in church. Can I tell you who is on the perky? Because there is a way that seems good, right, pure before man, but before God is the way of destruction. Akoi hanya wanda yana na agaba mutum me perki me fata ama agaba Allah bahaka bani there is a way that seem good better okay holy but before God is a way of destruction therefore submit yourself to God's examination akoi hanya wanda kana gari cewa me kyau ne hanya me perki ne ama agaba Allah bahaka ba don haka kami We, we go uh, Psalm 17. Psalm 17. Zabura go mashabata. Psalm 17. Zabura go mashabata. I'm reading verse 3. Aya uku. Psalm 17 verse 3. Zabura go mashabata. Aya uku. Thou hast pulled my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and shall find nothing. I am purpose that my mouth shall not transgress grace. Here the Sami was saying God will try him. God will get to find in the night through his mind to find out something in him. He has determined transgression will not come out of his mouth. Ya yi ya magana cewa ya zo a gaban Allah da mai Allah ya gada shi amma ya gani cewa babu mugu abin da ya ta daga bakin sa thou has proved my heart ka gada zuciya na the heart the heart is the seat of the being of man the seat of the being of man zuciya shine ina mutum yake zama yesterday na was reading a book ja Allah karanta wani litafi and It reminded me of the police God has put within us. Ya tuna mene akai wani ah dan sanda wanda yana nan tare da mu and that police called conscience. Wancan dan sanda ana kira shi hakuri. Ah conscience. Lamiri. Lamiri. It's called conscience. Ana kira shi lamiri. 
That policeman is there in every man as you sit down here. This policeman has been telling you you are evil and you are rejected. All the evil you have been doing, you know because the policeman has been telling you, but you have been saying, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and that's why you are in the situation you are. Anyone here, anyone here that's a second wife, this policeman has to remind you day in, day out. You will not give excuse before God because the policeman of God was there, you telling you you're a second wife, you're a second wife, you're a second wife, and you commit adultery. But you refuse. That's what that policeman, the policeman I'm talking about, it doesn't bother about your reasoning. It doesn't bother about how you use your mind to reason to, to excuse yourself. He will always tell you, you are wrong. And the psalmist said, prove me, prove my heart. And the psalmist said, Put inside me. Search my life. And see what is happening. Why are we saying that? Then let's, let's, let's go to some passages. Let's go to some passages. Praise the Lord. Let's read Psalm 119. And I read verse 25. Psalm 119, verse 25. We may come to that verse again, but let's just read it now. Verse 25 said, My soul cleaveth unto the dust, quicken thou me according to thy word. My soul, La Marina. La Marina. What we are saying here is that because of our nature, we desire fleshly thing, earthly thing, thing that only satisfies the flesh, not of the spirit. It is when you submit to God's searching that He can quicken you by His word. In uh, Job 23, I'm reading verse uh, 10. Job 23, verse 10. But he knoweth the way that I take. When he try me, I shall come forth as gold. Here he's talking about we have to, it will give God place and allow him to try you and to search you. Then you can come out as a gold. Verse 11. My foot has held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandments of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Here is the psalmist is talking about his commitment. And he was committed to the word of God and to God Himself. We need to, to commit ourselves to God. We need to take time to search our life. Try our, our heart. Let's see Psalm 139, Psalm 139. And I'm reading from verse 23-24. Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. It says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. They're talking about searching. That you come yourself before God and say, God, search me. 
Friday ni kwa yao na yana magana akae mbinchike obengiji ka mbinchike kaseni kwa ni wae ni because if you don't submit to this statue of God Idan dia mutum bai mika kai sa ga bincike na Allah ba. Surrender to this fashion of God. Idan dia mutum bai mika kai sa ga ba da don bincike na Allah ba. You will be deceived. Da ka rudo. You 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 will be deceived. Da da ka rudo da kai ga. This the devil will deceive you. You will even deceive yourself. Che dan zai rudo ka kuma da ka rudo kai ka. You will fall into the house of deceivers. Da ka fadi a hano maso rodi. This thing I'm doing is it right? Abin da nake yi dai dai ne. This biblical, yana na bisa ga ni dafi. This how can I put in water and drink because of healing? Is this biblical? Is it right? Wana haka ce da na sa ruwa na sha da me warke. Dai dai ne. It pray the spirit of God to reveal to you that is wrong. That's an idolatry. Ruwa Allah ne kawai zai ba na maka cewa ba daidai ba. And therefore you surrender yourself. Da haka sai ka mika kai sa. Go search me. Ka je ya Allah ka bincike ni. Search my life. Ka bincike rayuwa. Search my thought. Binchike kila sort my inner being ka binchike mutai ke chai ha ka binchike zuci ya ta what do i want ya nike what i am what how i use my eye ya nike afani da idol search me ya ubangin ka binchike ni this was be a regular prayer wana adua ne da wa da zamu da yi ko wa da prayer you for every time adua ne da za yi shi ko wa ne lokaci you will never outgrow it Search me. Kabin chikeni. So number one, what do you say? Allow God to search you. Na de ya kabin Allah ya bin chikeka. Surrender yourself unto God to search you. Kabin chikeka ya Allah di ya bin chikeka. Give God the right to search your life. Kuba wa Allah dama di ya bin chikeka. If you want to make heaven a call, you must go this far. Idan da ku na so ku shiga sama, sai na ku san wannan. If you want to enjoy heaven with Jesus Christ, must come to the point you search your child. Idan da za ku zara tare da Yesu ya sama, dole ku zo ga lokacin da za yi bincike ku. Not only that. Ba wannan kawai ba. Search the way you dress. Ayi bincike yadda kake sa tu bazin ka. Do you entice people? Kana sa tu bazin yadda ku ta shi da your loves outside woman. Do you live your laps outside? Kila bari, kila bari, chinyanchi awuje. Do you live your back outside woman? Kama cha kila bari bayanchi abude. Why why do you dress like that? Me asa kila sa tuaji aka. It's not because there's a seed of immorality in you to attract men that make you dress like that. Akwaya kwaya na la lata de mi a jawo hankula maza gare ku. Do you not know that in the beginning God made clothes to to cover their nakedness? Do you know that? Ba ku sani cewa daga farko Allah yayi tufafi da miya rufe sirrawancin suwa. Do your dressing cover your nakedness? Ko ba ne kuke sa yana rufe sirrawancin ku? Does it make you more holy or, or evil? Yana sa ku ku yi tafiya da sarki ne ko ku ta mugunta. Do righteous men on the street that jam you do they close their eyes? Mutane masu adaci da sun sa da ku kan titi suka rufe idanun su. Or do what do, how do they do? Or do they are they free? Can they be holy before you, woman? Ya ni za su yi ko za su zama da sarki ne a gaban ku. That's the search we are talking about. When I share with the man I'm gonna ask you search the area of money. Kazi dike za uje hanyan kudi. You search the area of your family. Some of you are suppressing your wives. Dike hanya iyali ku do wada su ku kula dan na mata yanku. You are cheating your wives. Kuna cuta mata mata yanku. Search that area too. Ye bin dike a wannan wurin kuma search me oh no. Ka bin dike ne ya wani ni ni. Ka san ne try me. Ka gwada ne I'll see if there's any wicked way in me that lead me in the way of righteousness. Ka gani ko akwai wani mugunta a cikin da don ka dushe ni cikin hanyar adalci. Or to go search you and bring that evil out. You will not be led to the way of holiness or the way of heaven. Sai Allah ya bincike ka in ba ka ba ba za ka bi hanyar adalci da kuma hanyar sarki ba. Number 2. Na biyo examine yourself in the light of this of the scripture. Yi bincike ka ka bisa ga bishara. In second Corinthians chapter 13 second Corinthians 13 Corinthians ta biyo sura 13 and I read verse 5 Corinthians ta biyo sura 13 aya 5 it says examine yourself whether ye be in faith prove your own self know ye not you are
ask one about one day I say examine yourself just close your eyes and say God examine In Jesus' name we pray. And we say Amen. Amen. We are back to our point now. Examine yourself in the light of scriptures. And here we, we said in Second uh, Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5 said, Examine yourself whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be the prophets. Here, the apostle was saying that every Christian man to examine himself or herself, so that to know whether he, based on the knowledge of the scriptures, whether he is truly a Christian. Self-examination is necessary for every one of us. You know yourself very well. You know the things you do, you know where you go. You know the first. You know your friends. You know every detail of yourself. About a month ago, we had a program on Abuja. And then uh, somebody, his brother is a, a, a secondary school uh, proprietor, just ah. sent a certificate to him, and with that certificate, is now working in a big place. Ah, and in our discussion we made them to see if you are using somebody else's certificate you are a sinner you can't go to heaven even if you have used it and now you have retired you are still guilty a sinner 
ko kai amfani da shi amma kai ritaya har yanzu kai kana da laifi ka zama mai zuwa the money you have and all those years is a stolen money da me in duk wannan kudaden da an biya ka duk santa ni kai your gratuity is a stolen money so because of that examine yourself discover what what are you who are you dan haka ka bincike kanka ko kai waye ne discover yourself ko san inda kuke eh you women now you are big you are fat but when you are small small girls you collect money from this one you collect from this one you collect from this one. say i will marry you give you 5 naira i will marry you give you 100 naira all those money so collected you are a thief you didn't marry the person return those money otherwise you go to hell ko mata wanda kai girma ya zo kai aure kace da kuna nan kan ya 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 yara a wannan ce ni zan aure baki ko ba daya wanda ce ni zan aure ke baki kudi wanda kudi da da kin karba nan ya zo don like my sister so a many of men that are sitting here before me most of them have jilted one girl or the other i will put a girl in a family way now that girl is the biggest family you are here because you are a man you are you are a wicked man and you have not done anything to correct that thing remember if you don't search yourself and discover it you go to hell ko ma da ke kuna nan kun ba wa ya mata ciki sai kun turo su a kawai yanzu kuna nan kuna jin dadin ku sannan kuma su su da ta su da noma ba kai wani abu domin ka gyara wani abu ba kai mai mugunta ne there's a, a girl that was brilliant there was a girl that was brilliant akwai yariya wani ta yi ilimi sosai and somebody a boy there presented her sai wani mutum ya yi mata ciki and then eventually she dropped out but the man continued struggled and she and she remade it ah she ita kuma sai ba ta ci gaba da makanta ba shi rami ji ya ci gaba da makarantar shi and then now uh they were looking for cleaner in this big man's uh office and now this girl now is the one that came was looking for interview and this man was to interview her dan nan kuma wannan yari ana neman wanda zai yi shara office sana kuma wannan mutum shine wannan zai ban yi mata tambayoyi ko interview and then uh, uh, when the girl enter in uh, uh, when he saw that man as he took a look this was the man who collapse ah lokacin da ta shiga wannan office da ta ga wannan babban mutum ne da ta kalle shi haka sai ta fadi a kasa and when she woke up she carry her things and went to da ta tashi sai ta dauke kayan ta ta tafi Do you think that man will be free? But as a man who wants to hear the reality, no matter what he, he, that person will able to do or preach or give money for church, he will soon go to hell if he doesn't correct it. Go and the abu the one who wants to hear it. Go and hear it. Let the be Jahanama. It is not the one who wants to hear it. Man, examine yourself. How were you when you were young? How what did you do with girls? How do you do it? How many girls are sent to the village? correct it before the day is biya ya kuka yi kun sa ya mata da yawa sun koma a kawe ban da ku gyara shi tun daga yanzu examine yourself ko gwada kai ku examine yourself ko gwada kai ku this examination does not stop in jalingo when a gwada ya zo nan jalingo you must go back to a village that examination want to make heaven at all ba wai ya siya nan ba ni dole ka ji har kawe idan kana so ka yi sami sama and that somebody say i have to say that if i become a christian all things are past all be all things are new yes i when i say i na ba da gaskiya cikin yesu christ ko me da ko me ya riga ya shude but all things are new in your heart but remember there is something you have done which you need to correct you must correct it ko me da ko me ya na nan din me kyau sabo a cikin zuciya amma ka tuna abuwan da kai ada dole kai gyara they don't tell you that in your this in your church But we will tell you because we want you to make heaven. Muna ga muku da me muna so ku je samaniya. You have worked in the government before. Ko yi aiki a gurin dama. And the money you build that house is stolen money. Go and do restitution of your money. Ko yi there is nothing like national king in Christianity. Ko yi wanda kai ji da wani baki sa ci jan kudi ne dole kai ma yasuwa. This area you have to examine yourself otherwise you be in problem forever and ever. Wana wuri dole kai bin ki kan kai ba ka ba ka na cikin damuwa har abada abadi. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 28. Corinthians ta farko sura 11 aya 28. 
First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 20 said, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. Here we, we are told about when you are taking Holy Communion, examine yourself. And uh, today, today Holy Communion, because the man who is given is not holy, and uh, everything is not holy, therefore everything goes together. It's just like you are abusing Christ by taking that kind of dirty thing that has no backing of God and yet you are using the name of Jesus Christ. Examine yourself. Paul said in Acts chapter 23. Acts chapter, Acts chapter 23. And Paul earnestly beholding the council said, Men and brethren, I have lived in all good patience before God unto this day. Here Paul was saying that he behold the council of the Sahedrin in Israel and told them to their faith before I live in a good position before all people and you say that Paul was a man like ours like we ourselves he was able to live before me with a good conscience I can say it yeah, yeah. Then the grace is there for all of us to live like that. Yeah, yeah. Remember Hezekiah. When he was asked to die, he called to the world. He told God. Allah. Go remember. I live for you in holiness and righteousness. And God was saying, yes, I can see that. God said, yes, I can see that. So, that somebody said, we can't live holy life. It's a liar, it's satanic, it's devilish. If you can live a life and examine yourself on a daily basis, you have no, God will give you the grace to live through without committing sin. In chapter 24 of Acts of Apostles, verse 16. And hearing do I excise myself to have always a conscience void of offense towards God and towards men. Here again Paul was saying that that policeman you have put in my heart. God, I can tell you that policeman is telling me I have lived clearly. I have no problem. Good conscience towards God in heaven and towards every man. Pastor, listen to me. Pastor, can you stand before your congregation? And ask them and say, Look at me, how would you accuse me of any sin? Can you do that before your, your members? That see me standing before you. I have worked here for 20 years. Which girl, which family, which woman can testify against me? If you cannot do that, you are a sinner. You must repent. You must turn and search yourself and ask God to have mercy upon you. Number one, you have to examine yourself whether your salvation is intact. For John chapter 5, verse 23 24. That place talk about he that is born of God does not commit sin. You see? Can I talk Do you speak lies? Can I tell you? 
Do you gossip? You are backslidden. And when the end of the day, you are a job. So number one, examine your salvation. Are you still a child of God? Are you still born again? I'm not a child of historical born again, please, my brother, my sister. The Lord was born again in 1977. Ah, but why are not a woman here for Ali Sabah? What? Or two thousand and what and what? That is nonsense and useless if you are committing sin. If you are born again and you remain born again, then you are a child of God. There is no sin in your life. Or don't chapter five, now let's see I think I need to read that place. Ah, yeah, come on, 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 come in verse 18, please, not uh, well, you got in uh, verse 18. What is chapter 5, verse 18? Yahana Sura, Yahana Tafal Kosura, the Araya Gomasha Takwas. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and the wicked one teacheth him not. He that is born of God sinneth not. If you are sinning, you are not born of God. If you are deceptive, you are not born again. If you are corrupt, you are not born again. If you are deceptive and cunning, you are not born again. When they can have a Allah, by the Zoniba, the Aka, you don't want to get area, when I am a Aka, I want to come out of a Harris of the Samuel has heard your life. Are you saved? Binchikere Raika, Kasamucheto, number two. Nadio, be sure that you have. Taking care of restitution in your life. Examine in the area of restitution. Have you done all your restitution? Now, you know, policemen policemen sometimes they say that uh, because we have collected so much money, we don't know what to do. Is that you don't want to do it? You know what to do. Go to God. God will tell you what to do. Ah, yes, I just want to show you. I got some money. Can you come and help me? But most of my friends don't want to. I'm not going to help them. I'm not going to help them. I'm not going to help them. You are tax collector. These people in the what they call it, uh, bats or whatever they collect in the office, all over the local government. You are working there before, and you have eat more of the government money, and you are a thief. All the suffering was over. You are poisoning for us, and you are just going there. You are a thief, and you are not thinking of how to go out and correct yourself. And you are saying it doesn't matter. It matter what. Kana aki ujang kabang haraji wanda sila da obu shiso dugu do kawa na ukomami kachi kudi awari kana che babu da mwaba akwe da mwa kai kam hanya dufu kai all this produce soba wuno kama wute ya you collect money soba wuno kama wute chitu you collect money everything they bring you collect money and yet you are not remitting to the government giving receipt and you say you are not a thief you are a thief Kwa nda abu nda ankao za za karba akao kazani za karba kudi akao akuya akarba kudi ama wana kudi adebaso azua uri gomna kiba kibaraone The next number 13 is that you must be evangelistic You must be involved in soul winning Involved with the activities that bring souls to the kingdom That is one of the things you have to check Are you involved in the activities that bring soul winning? Abenda zana sasa kabin chikia kumaishi ni tangu jana shalambishara kwa kana shiga aiti mshalambishara kana ribanto rai ukaga ubaliji. Are you giving your money for the work of soul winning? Kana baada kudika bume ribanto rai uka. You know some of you are you know you are the measure of bind you together. Wada sukuma ah wada sukuma ikiliza sio hada sore dia. That you cannot be able to to sit down and ask God. Well, do you need money, God? So you can send it there. You are ah. only taking it. And you take it. Even when they don't need money, you put it there. And you say you are a child of God. You can't listen to your father to tell you what to do. Ah, so they go out and invest in such a way. I do not say, oh, but this is not a child. I'm not going to be. They will not be able to do it. 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 In Acts chapter 8 verse 4 it says that those that scattered because of the persecution they rose up because of feeling they all went out and they were preaching the gospel. Remember, number, number 4 now, remember, remember that there were 10 virgins, holy women, but only 5 virgins. Made it, and five virgins wouldn't make it. 
Have you ever surprised you that they were virgins but they didn't go to heaven? Think about it. Why is it that virgins that it mean that they were chaste, mean that they were they were innocent, mean that they were not committing sin, yet they couldn't make it? Why are you check up? So it's a time for you to go in searching yourself. God will show you the area. Remember, there was someone that came to Jesus Christ. And when he said, I have done this, I have done this, I have done this. Jesus said, one thing thou lackest. You must discover that one thing if you want to make heaven. Number five, you must, you must, you must have to discover the little foxes in your life that are eating the fire, the spiritual fire in your life. Little foxes. Solomon, Solomon chapter 2 verse 15, little foxes. Little foxes. Song of Solomon chapter 2 verse 15. This thing that eat your Christian life, that destroy your Christian that envy, that bitterness, that ill feeling, that easy to be to be annoyed. Those are the little foxes that will take care of them. Matthew chapter 18 verse 7, that's number 6, he's talking about then give room to offenses. Don't allow offenses to control you. No. Jesus said, offenses will surely come, but guard yourself against offenses. So, these are things that can destroy your spiritual life. What? By constant searching your life and putting yourself under the, 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 the mirror of God every day, you will overcome them. You will be delivered from them. Concentrate. On that one thing that thou lackest. And number seven. Number seven, concentrate on that one thing that thou lackest. That's, uh, you will see that in uh, Mark chapter 10, verse 21 to 22. Let me quickly, uh, quickly round up in Jeremiah chapter, 20, chapter 10, verse 23. Ten twenty three. I'm talking about submit to the leading of God through His Word. Submit to the leading of God through His Word. Jeremiah chapter ten. Verse twenty three says, "O oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself." It is not a man that walketh to direct his steps. It is not a man that walketh to direct himself. Yes, God is saying that we human beings, if we don't depend upon him, we cannot be able to direct ourselves here on, in the world aright. To be able to direct your ways and walk in the way of the Lord depends upon God because the way of man is not himself to direct himself. In Proverbs chapter 20 verse 24. Proverbs 20 24. It is not a man to direct himself. It is only God that can direct you. Man, man's going are of the law. How can a man then understand his own ways? If the goodness of the man is from the Lord, if the way God can lead man is only from God, then how can you yourself understand your ways? Depend upon Him. You can you can guide yourself. You can help yourself. You are a living witness. 
You told us God led you to that woman. Now you are about to divorce or you are even divorced. Because she depends upon your eyes. And your eyes are misguided you now. And you are suffering. You are suffering because you didn't depend upon God at that time. It's not in you to direct yourself. It is in God to direct yourself. That man you think you are going to marry, now he is slim, he is good looking. Do you know how he will end up? Maybe a blind man, maybe with one leg, maybe with one limb out. Do you know how that man will end? That's why you need to depend upon God to direct you. Need to allow God to control everything we do and to guide us. Chapter 16 of uh, Proverbs. Mesali sura gomasha biar Amos 9:16. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directed his step. A man's heart, a man's mind will devise his own wicked way. It is only God can direct your steps aright. This being so, what do you do? is to submit to the honor of honors he that made you he that created you in his image he has, he has your pro, his program your program in his own hands he releases them to you one after the other one after the other once at a time Therefore, if you want to succeed as a Christian, you must depend upon him, you must rely on him. If you want to make heaven at all, you must depend upon God, you allow him to lead you, to direct you, and to guide you in everything you do. That's the only word of success. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. Who are you, Pastor? Do you know yourself? Has God told you who you are? Why are you not disturbed by some that kind of crooked, crooked things in your life? Do you enjoy your falling and rising and falling and rising all the time? Do you enjoy that kind of that kind of life that is not is not consistent? You mean that God in heaven cannot keep you holy? You mean that God cannot keep you and you maintain your holiness until you see Jesus? You mean God cannot do it? The reason is because we are not cooperating with God. If today you can make up your mind. If today you can make up your mind, and you say, Lord, I will cooperate with you. Whatever you have thought about me, I submit. Whatever you are telling me today, I submit. All that we have said, I, I know something has been brought in your mind which you know is wrong. You will begin with that. Deal with the sins in your life now. Deal with the sins in your life. Remove them out of your life. Remove them, remove them. Every sin will take you to hell. Every sin, no matter how small, will take you to hell. The removal of that sin that guarantee you to make heaven. I'm going to give you time to pray. I'm going to allow you to pray this, this time. To prepare your heart. Because I know you, there's something you need to correct. 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 Correct.
your life. And I, and I believe that as you cooperate with the Lord this, mo- this morning, the Lord will see you through. And from this moment, victory will be yours from day in, day out, and to see Jesus in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Not just emotion or something. Just calculate your mind and face it directly. That's it. Calculate and face that problem in your life directly. Deal with it by confessing and rejecting and turning away from it. I want to hear you pray, please. I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. Just pray, pray. You know yourself. I know myself too. I know myself. You know yourself. Go to God. Plead with him. Ask him for mercy. Ask him to visit you today. Check your, I mean, this examination was start from the time you and you can remember. It must begin from the time you can remember. Don't say, ah, uh, 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 don't think that because I was a sinner, no matter, it matters so, it matters. Remember your school days? The, book, the books you carry from the school, you have not returned them, return them. The stealing you did in the exam, go back and, 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 rest, and let your institution. Just pray. Yeah, pray. Yeah, pray. Yeah, Examine yourself. This world will stand at the gate of heaven. Examine yourself. This world will stand at the gate of heaven telling you, examine yourself. But at that time, it was having too late. But at that time it will be too late. It is examination star, it is now examine yourself. Examine your family life. Examine your material life. Examine your vocational life. Everything you do was born under the scrutiny of God Almighty. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. God is waiting for you to examine yourself. Yes, examine yourself to God. Pray to If it's a serious matter, please, my brother, don't take it kindly. It's a time to examine yourself through prayer. It's a time to tell the Lord. Here am I. Search me and know me. Oh Lord, search me and know me. And see if there's any wicked way in me. They lead me in the ways of eternal life. God is ready to lead you in the ways of eternal life.
before the Lord? Are you in the way of righteousness and holiness? Examine yourself. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. Moye adua atike suna Yesu. In Jesus name we pray. Baba muna maka azara tina da kaba mu de memo je madanar ka. Wannan rai shirye mu za cikin mulkin ka. Ya ubangiji, mutum a cikin nasa ba zai iya komai ba. Amma kai san wajen ka kana iya komai. Muna roke ka ubangiji, ka taimake mu ka ba mu wannan alheri wanda za mu gwada kamo mu san inda ba inda ba damuwa sannan kuma mu kauce a gaban ka. Domin ka san ka kyau mu samu yiri hanya mu za a cikin mulkin ka a cikin sunan Yesu Kristi. Ubangiji, mu ne mutum ya riga ya fita. Ya ruhu mai sarki bai rika cika ta sauran. Cikin sunan Ubangiji mu Yesu Kristi. Amen. Amen. You can be seated now. Ko zauna? As I told you earlier, we have, we have two sections. We are now going straight to the next section. Now, the next section is the 